If you live in a small town in North Carolina, you need to be ready. Ready for developers to paint a target on you and ready for the will of your voters to be overruled. Why is that? Welcome to Summerfield. A town of 11,000 in northwestern Guilford County, here you'll find farms with homesteads, subdivisions, broad fields, and open roads. Teachers and lawyers, firefighters and contractors, medical professionals and farmers. In 1998, a developer acquired a large tract of land in the heart of our town. This property would become a successful beef farm and event venue. Over the years, the developer expanded his holdings to over 970 acres of land sprawling across our town. By working with our planning board, the developer successfully angled to permit higher density development such as townhomes and quadruplexes, approved in 2021. But this was not enough. The developer shortly filed to have the housing density limits raised yet higher, far beyond the capacity of our infrastructure and destroying our town's rural character. Responding to Summerfield's voters, our council denied his request twice in 2022 and in 2023. But developers like to win. This is when things changed. North Carolina Senate President Phil Berger was elected by the voters of Summerfield to represent their interest in the state government. In September of 2023, Senator Berger threatened Summerfield with the de-annexation of all the developer's property possibly removing over 970 acres from the town's core if the town council did not approve the request for higher density zoning. This action would pry our town's heart from our jurisdiction, handing it over to Guilford County to possibly be annexed by the city of Greensboro, turning Summerfield from this to this and possibly to this. Making the property subject to Greensboro zoning laws could cram unbelievable amounts of housing units, pavement, and urban congestion into this small town, straining our roads, erasing our rural character, and effectively killing Summerfield. In response to this threat, our previous council held a contentious public meeting and voted three to two to approve the developer's request. But it does not stop there. The de-annexation language has not been removed from House Bill 5. And in February of 2024, it was confirmed that the General Assembly intends to push forward with the annexation, despite Summerfield honoring the developer's request to expand our town's zoning ordinance and allow increased density for the project. Whatever the motivations, this will be the largest de annexation in North Carolina history. This will be the precedent for the erasure of local autonomy. The voters of small towns across our state will have no say in their town's future unless you support us. Please contact your elected state representatives. Tell them you oppose House Bill 5. Tell them you oppose forced de-annexation. Because if it happens to us, your town could be next and your quiet country roads could become traffic jam thoroughfares, your fields and forests paved over for the sake of profits. The wonderful small towns of this state are a resource not to be exploited and cast aside. So please, support us here in Summerfield. Please.